Hey. It was you, wasn't it? You're the one who stepped on my hand. Hmm. Maybe I did. What's a little girl like you doing here anyway? I don't know. What's a big dum-dum like you doing here anyway? Hey, that's not very nice. Didn't your parents teach you any manners? What you got there? None of your business. You didn't love Mary anyway. What? Hey, wait! How do you know her name? She likes me very much. Hey, are you okay? <gasps> Go away! Don't be afraid, I just want to talk. Yell at me if I don't? No. I won't, please, just... I need to know. Mary's my friend. We met at the hospital last year. Stop lying! Laura, I, I'm sorry. I... Fine! Don't believe me! See if I care! Hey! I'm sorry, Laura, but I can't let you just run around this place. You might get hurt. Hurt by what? Look, just stay with me, okay? This is no place for a kid. Fine. But there's something I gotta get. Laura. It's important. What is it? A letter. For Mary. What? I hid it. In there. You sure this is where you left it? It's in the back, behind an old pipe. Okay, wait here. Laura? Haha! <laughs> open the door, Laura. Should I? I'm a liar, right? Want me to open it? Huh? Do ya? Laura, open this door right now. It's the magic word. Laura! Nope, that's not it. I guess I won't open it. Get me out of here, you brat! Dreams, bark face. Yeah. Please open the door. There's something in here. Sure, there is. A big lying fart face. See a fart face. Laura. Laura. <laughs> Did 
I scare you? Yeah, you did. I guess I deserved it, huh? The fart face that I am. Maybe. Then again, maybe you're not so bad. Just... annoying. Uh-huh. So... <clears throat> You got any other things planned? I think I saw a dark room back there you could lock me up in. Mm, no. I think you've had enough. For now. Well, that's reassuring. Besides, I need your help finding Mary. She's here. Isn't she? Come on, tell me. I wish I knew. But... She said it in her letter. Wait. So there really is a letter? Oh. Yeah. Wanna read it? Just... Don't tell Rachel, okay? Who's Rachel? She's our nurse. I, uh... Took it from her locker. My dearest Laura, I'm leaving this letter with Rachel to give to you after I'm gone. I'm far away now, in a quiet, beautiful place. Please forgive me for not saying goodbye before I left. Be well, Laura. Don't be too hard on the sisters. And Laura, about James. I know you hate him because you think he isn't nice to me, but please, give him a chance. It's true, he can be a little surly sometimes, and he doesn't laugh much. But underneath, he's a really sweet person. I love you, Laura. I love you like my very own daughter. I wish things were different. I wish we could be happy together, like we talked about. Even so, I know you will have a good life. You're a strong, smart, beautiful girl. Happy eighth birthday, Laura. Your friend, Mary. Laura. How old are you? Um, I turned eight last week. That means Mary couldn't have died three years ago. Could she really be here? Is this the quiet, beautiful place she was talking about? Me and Mary talked a lot about Silent Hill. She even showed me all her pictures. She really wanted to come back. She also talked a lot about you, you know? She even... What? What is it? Well, it kind of was his other letter. I think the one was for you. The envelope had your name on it. Did you read it? I... wanted to. This one time, I almost did. Figured you didn't deserve to have it. But then I thought, Mary wouldn't want me to keep it from you. So I just sort of kept it for you. Here. empty. Laura, there's nothing in it. What? But I didn't take it. I swear. Well, where is it then? I... I must have lost it. I gotta find it. Laura!
you are. Do you know where Mary is? Come on, talk to me. Mary's gone. She's dead. Liar. That's a lie. No. It's the truth. She... She died because she was sick. I killed her. about her. I hate you, James. I hate you, I hate you, I hate you! She was always waiting for you. Why? Why? I'm sorry. Mary, you know, isn't here. In my restless dreams, I see that town. Silent Hill. You promised you'd take me there again someday. But you never did. Well, I'm alone there now. In our special place. Waiting for you. To come and see me. But you never do. So, I wait, wrapped in my cocoon of pain and loneliness. I know, I've done a terrible thing to you. I wish I could change that, but I can't. I feel so pathetic and ugly laying here. Every day I stare up at the cracks in the ceiling, and all I can think about is how unfair it is. The doctor came today. Told me I could go home for a short stay. It's not that I'm getting better. It's just that this could be my last chance. Even so, I'm glad to be coming home. I missed you so much. <laughs> but I'm afraid, James. I'm afraid you don't really want me to come home. Every time you come to see me, I can tell how hard it is on you. I don't know if you hate me or pity me. Maybe I just disgust you. I'm so sorry. When I first learned I was gonna die, I couldn't accept it. I was so angry 
I struck out at everyone I loved. Especially you. That's why I understand if you hate me. But I want you to know. I will always love you. Even though our life together had to end like this. I still wouldn't trade it for the world. Well, this letter has gone on too long, so I'll say goodbye. I told the nurse to give this to you after I'm gone. Which means that as you're reading this, I'm already dead. But that's okay. I'm not afraid of it anymore. I just hope the pain will end soon, so that you remember me for who I was, and not what the disease made me. I want you to go on. I want you to live for yourself and for others, like you did for me. James. You made me happy.